Our, well, that's us. That's our song. We're starting this episode. We're heading back towards the narwhal to get on the Amanesia. That's what we're doing. Let's go. Yeah, Boys. I'm so excited. I finally get to see the airship. It's very steampunk. Yeah, so let's do this. Um, okay, where are we going? Wait a minute. We gotta Wait go a minute. Back to You're the like beach. all. This game is so glitchy. Oh, you're like yeah. all the oh. way somewhere else and i'm still stuck back oh. here there you go now you're inside this house with me oh well, she's got her this? totally like kaku outfit what what's your favorite temtem saku i see your person of culture as well what's her name like, let's cultist? Slowly... <laughs> it's a cultist what does let's, that mean let's slowly back out of this house this um, person is crazy <laughs> that was weird what That's was that badasmo. about Oh, this place is pretty big. Wow, they really made a big city in the middle of the water. All docks. Marquesa. That's nice, I like it. Alright, so we're gonna go to the Narwhal. Okay. Jumping in the water. We don't way? actually see each other, right? For some reason. Yeah, it's kind of weird. So we gotta go around these docks. I think this way, right? You're going this Salado way? Salado River. Okay, yeah, we're back yay. in the Salado. Dancing foam. Oh, this was the guy's wings. house where he's like, I don't know, my kids, <laughs> get uh, out of here. I see you. I see you. <laughs> yeah, the pedo guy. Well, those are his kids. Those are actually his children. Yeah, still. Or, or he just there's just some random kids and he calls them his, his children. Stepdad. Or stepdad. All right, so. Uh, Why are we fighting a lot of these um, little blubby things? Yeah, the whiplump. Or, no, he's not a whiplump. What's his name? His name is a FOMU. FOMU? FOMU. Because he's, he's made a full foam. of um, shaving cream. <laughs> yeah, he's he's in the process of shaving his ass. <laughs> that's why he's, <laughs> that's why he's got all that foam Oops. back there. I know. Oops. I want to do this move. DC beam. He's um, like, I have shaving cream, but no razor. And this is what happened. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get my own FOMU. Boom. Kazu. There oh, should Pearl be a Temtem -tem that's like a razor, yeah. <laughs> they can <laughs> fight against each other. Look at his oh. backside. I never noticed his backside. Oh yeah, it's super fluffy. It's like a lot of whipped cream there. Ooh, so good. We had and he's got this, this tail morning. too that's like dipped into whipped cream. We had whipped cream this morning on waffles. Isn't it crazy that people eat waffles for breakfast? It's like, it's like cake. <laughs> hey, we're just gonna sweet have timmer. desserts for breakfast. It is so sweet and cakey like. All right, and it's like, oh, we'll just have is this not dessert enough? Throw some whipped cream and syrup on there. Chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. Oh my god. Syrup, sprinkles. Oh, speaking of which, we went to a place here in Denver called Syrup, and they're like famous for their like French toast, waffles, pancakes. So JD ordered like a normal breakfast, like eggs and bacon. <laughs> and I got French toast, and it was like, wow, I just had because it was French toast covered in syrup, covered with blueberries, covered with whipped cream, and I was yeah, like, yeah, wow, yours I just was had, so um, sweet. Oh man, I only had one spool of that, just to taste, and I was like, that's too much. I hit the wrong button. Oopsie. <laughs> I meant to switch them out. I did the wrong button. Oopsie. Oopsie. Oopsie doopsie. I got my FOMO out. I figured I should use him to do some more stuff. The uh, and then the place is, I would say they're like okay. I don't think they're like, oh, uh, they're bragging about like one of the best places in Denver to get pancakes. And I'm like, eh. I feel I, like the first time I went I there like was snooze better. better. Snooze, yeah, you're like in snooze. Denver. Okay, this is welcome to Willie Mammoth Restaurant Review. <laughs> <laughs> now we're not doing let's plays, we're doing uh, we're doing restaurant reviews, specifically nice. a bunch of Denver based restaurants. So nice, all right. So, if you're like in the Denver area, you should check out a snooze, it's like a better version of a Denny's, right? I think the full name is Snooze AM or something like that. Snooze him, yeah, snooze him. <laughs> it's a snooze him, snooze a bunch of them. It's like what Denny's used to be before Denny's sucked. Snooze MA, yeah, snooze AMA. So, you could go there. And they have some good breakfast options. And yeah, they have it's like quite a lot good. of it's unique different. like options. Yeah, breakfast any time of the day. Mm, yeah, that's good. What that's else is a good eat. cherry cricket? If you're uh, here in the Denver area and you're like, I want a good burger, get yourself yeah. some cherry cricket. That's you a good burger. You can get their mac place. and cheese bites, which it is mac and cheese oh, deep fried. Yeah, those are I've good. I've never seen that before. It's just like a clump of mac and cheese, <laughs> breaded and deep fried. And then just dropped into oil. I was like, and wow. Crisp. Uh, I was like, I didn't know you could do that. And I was like, oh yeah, for sure. Swimming tamer. 
is ready for the Olympics here. Right? Oh my <laughs> god, did you hear the Olympics are back on? Yeah, it's like we're a, back and forth so much about the relationship uh, with the Olympics. They're right? off and on and off and on. What right? are they doing? No, now they're finally. Um, now they're like, we're doing do it, it, guys. Oh, what the hell? You. Uh, I wonder if they're, maybe they're doing no crowds. Oh, you can catch yourself a pookie. Are you can get yourself a pookie bear. Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. fine I'll get, get it. Get yourself a pookie. I'll get it. I'm trying to level up my scale. That's why I keep leaving him in in the beginning. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do with my, my other ones, too. I'm not I gonna get him big and strong. I'm gonna turn him into a skunch. You seen the skunch where he's I don't it. like the skunch. It's not as cute as scale. Oh my god, it's like in Voldemort, the other unknown game. There was the rabbit Pokemon. I forgot what his name was. Mudkip? Oh, what was his name? And he turns into such an ugly thing when he evolves. <laughs> and you're like, I don't want him to evolve. Yeah, exactly. That was happening with Pokemon. Or oh, you could catch him. Voldemort, now. yeah. Oh, he's dead. Oh no! Oh, he had just it. a little sliver of health. You should come overdid there. Overdid it. We overdid it. He was well done. We're too good. We're too good. Oh my god, That's we're what's happening. so good. We can go all the way up this river because we gotta go all the way back up here. Okay. This is the shortcut. We're it, taking... it, lo it looks fun what they're doing here, like some kind of surfing. Yeah, this is like I don't know how they're propelling it's themselves. It's like yeah, exactly. I'm like, there's no sail. There's no. <laughs> there's no wave. Well, you know, oh, oh yeah. we could catch one of these. Why would he you have the Ushi? You already have an Ushi? Yeah, I have an Umishi right, roll. So I'm gonna get the Umishi. <laughs> you could get the other one. Okay. Uh, I think I want to switch. You want to switch? We have a switch. Uh, just kidding. That was a terrible joke. Good thing you didn't laugh at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we watched the E3. Ooh, oh, someone's man, getting excited exciting about stuff. upcoming video games. That's some exciting. They oh had some gosh. really good ones Is coming it? out. Yeah, it was too really bad Sony didn't do stuff. anything, but Nintendo yeah. and Xbox, man, they're really. I was disappointed. They're like, pandemic's over. We got games coming. They're like, they hit the ground running there. Yeah. They're like, okay, which one are you gonna hit? Puki or Puki? Omichi? So I'm gonna hit the other one. Okay, yeah. So you're going after Puki? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go after Umishi. I was gonna try to catch him. All right, I mean, Umishi. Ooh, he's raising his speed. But yeah, we no. got excited that um, oh, they did the. They were showing the Forza Horizon Five or something. I think uh -huh. it was Forza Horizon Five. And I was like, holy that crap! That looks so realistic. It's insane. It's incredible. Like, those AAA titles, how crazy they've gotten with their graphics. Well, apparently like, they this got is... this really advanced technology now that that has to do with actual photography. Yeah, they, they can integrate. Yeah, integrate it into the computer or something. Yeah, they were saying. Oh, hold on, I gotta go get my keyboard. Should have done it during the break, but I didn't. So JD is gonna talk to you about something while I go grab my keyboard. Something, 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 something. <laughs> yeah, figure out what you're gonna name your Umishi roll. Okay, I'm, I'm back. waiting. I'm back. I'm I got waiting. my keyboard. I am waiting. I'm back. Okay, well, I'm gonna rename him Umishi. Um, I'm Call gonna him Sushi. Him... <laughs> Motomaki. Uh, what should I name him? I'm Rocky. Gonna name him... Benihana. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking of all these nerd. like Japanese names. Naruto. Nerdy fish. Nerdy fish. Nerdy is it nerdy fish? <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> hey, it's hey. your pet now. I guess we should figure out how to get around the uh, where it blocks like bad words. <laughs> like, uh, what should I hit him with? Uh, I'm gonna throw to some use bubbles. More, use more bombs on my oregano. Keep putting the bombs on that oregano. Throw bubbles. But yeah, the Forza Horizon looked really cool. They're coming out with a new Metroid game, which is gonna be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, they said they changed it up a bit. Ooh, Mario Party? We're gonna have to play some Mario Party oh, yeah. on this, uh... Oh, maybe I can try to... Let me see. Just what does Sparks do? Let's see what happens. Well, you're gonna have to play some Mario Party? Because they're doing some yeah, kind of mashup of all Party. the best minigames from yeah, all the Mario Parties. Yeah, that's gonna be really parties. cool. Oh, they man. put it all together, condense it into this one game of the best of the best. Yeah, and then, uh... Yeah, I remember... Uh, what should I name? Ooh, you gotta name him Pukey. Name him Barf. <laughs> big Eyes. Big Eyes. Big Eyes. Big Eyes. Wasn't there a big movie called Big Eyes? There's Big Fish, right? Big Fish. <laughs> with, uh, with, uh, who was in that movie? Uh, was it Ewan McGregor? Yeah, he's in it. 
And he's like, I've got the higher ground, Anakin. <laughs> I think big fish. Movie. He's he's trying to catch a big. It, there is like a part where he's trying to catch the fish. Right, the big fish is like it's like a grandfather telling tall tales, and they're like, "Is it real or is it not real?" Mm -hmm, yeah. About his life. He's trying to figure out his dad or something. Something like that. Super I don't remember dramatic. the whole movie. Oh my god, we watched the movie, um, The Changeling, which is a movie from like 1980s, 1980, 1979, 1980. 1980. 1980. So I guess it's part of the 80s. 80s. Uh, and we found out, <laughs> okay, this is the creepiest thing. Let me know if you think this is creepy in the comments. We were like, just randomly, we picked that movie to watch, because I, I had it in my mind. Huh. Just I was like, oh yeah, I remember that movie, it was kind of scary. Yeah, we just ran it. was an interesting it. movie. Um, so I was like, oh yeah, let's watch it. So we watched it, and we're going to do it for our podcast with Movie Met Story, if you want to listen to us analyze movies. Uh, um, do that, So we were please. looking up some research about it, and we found uh, out that it's based... The story, original script of the story, was based on a mansion in Cheeseman Park in Denver. It was a um, poet, or no, a playwright who lived uh -huh. in a mansion in this yeah. area. And that's yeah. where we live, in the Cheeseman Park area of Denver, so it's super creepy. It's like, yep. why did I say that? In the area, movie? it's so weird. Right? It's like, what it's is it? Just it's so a random. ghost. We just randomly chose that movie, Which and then found... it just happened to be associated with our location here. Which Cheeseman Park, like poltergeist style, they built it on top of a graveyard from like yeah. uh, 1800s or yeah. something. So this is already creepy enough, the fact that all those hills back there in Cheeseman Park are graves. And it's like, okay, that's kind of creepy. Oh, I just realized something. Like, you know how we walk through there in that park? And sometimes you it feel like that air conditioning kind of affects... It just randomly gets cold? Yeah, is so that now ghost? I understand what that is. It's the no. ghost. <gasps> Holy it's the crap. ghost from You're the graveyard. Right. I'm going to catch this Because, yeah, all of a sudden you, all, you get this feeling of iciness on your body. Yeah, it like is Like this weird. cool draft kind of thing. It's like hard that to describe. That makes a lot of sense. But that does happen. You're just like walking by uh -huh. and all of a sudden you just get this cold chill feeling yeah. and just this, this random spot and it'll be like 80 degrees outside and then it's just cold in this one spot. Mm -hmm. So you ghost aficionados out there, you guys should check out Cheeseman Park, Denver. It's like got a haunted history. I got me another pukey. This one I'm actually going to name. Because the other one doesn't count. He just not special because he didn't get a name. <laughs> oh no, I did it again! Why do I keep... Oh my god. I keep thinking it's gonna prompt me in another screen. Oh my god, sorry guys. Why are you being so weird? Uh, I'm doing Okay, I'm I doing don't want bad. this Kalazu. You want it? Uh, no, we could just kill it. They were you so can... mean, you were like, kill it. Kill it, you die it's now. It's undeserving of us. You undeserving of love. <laughs> 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 here we have oh a, an God. adopted dog. someone dog. said that to you? You're undeserving of love. I think that would be like the meanest thing. It's like, why would they say that? It's like, you know how sometimes we get mean comments in our videos? Uh, if someone like just in a video wrote, you're undeserving of love, I'll be like, oh. Jeez. <laughs> be like, what does that have to do with anything? Right? Right? That's so mean. <laughs> Ooh, That's what I was saying. I guess we could just kill them. I mean, we don't need more. I supposedly there was like some tip that said make sure to catch as many Thames as you can, but you know what? Uh, I mean, there's so many out there, right? There's yeah, we gotta get ones. different ones. Like there's that one that's like a lion that we see on the cover, and I'm like, what is that? Thames yeah, that that's cool what I'm saying. That looks cool as shit, guys. I want that one. That definitely looks cool. He's deserving of love. <laughs> He's deserving of our love. He oh, deserves to be shoved into our backpack and yeah, <laughs> shoved on top of a Oof. card. Oh man, you know what else I found out is um, if you guys are interested that they've made. I think there's a game on Steam called Tabletop Simulator, which is just a tabletop. But people design game. It lets uh -huh. you design games for like board games and stuff like that. And I believe that the community is making a Temtem card game. You know how they have like Pokemon cards? Oh, oh my shit! God. I killed you. I forgot that that goes all the wow. way back on to you. So much for collaboration. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Oh, that was mean. I that guess you so catch mean. that one. Okay, I guess I'll catch it. Um, but they're making a Temtem card game, isn't that cool? Like the Pokemon cards? Uh, yeah, right? that is cool. There's, there's like community people, like artists, people who can draw uh -huh. way better than yeah, either of us real, can. Like artists. Who are actually making cards. Oh my god, I wish I could draw. That was like one of my... Well, you had started up and then stopped. You gave up on it. Yeah, I was like one of my things that I was, always wish I got into drawing. And I started drawing. Oh no, I almost had it. You could probably catch it. 
Oh, wow. now I'm going to catch yeah, it. Yeah, you should definitely be able to catch it now. Yumishi, you're mine. Oh, he kind of right. hurt himself too. All right. So let's, let's let's catch this guy. Yeah, he hurt himself. <sighs> Stop hurting yourself. Stop hurting yourself. Oh, he did like okay. a little smile. Did you see him? He was waiting. He's like, hey, I'm about to get caught. He's like, yay, I'm happy. Not really. I don't know what's happening You're to me. Mind. Okay, this one I'm actually going to name, guys. <laughs> Every time is the charm. <laughs> Rename. You're yes, going to be named. Yes, please. Uh, please. Finally. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> finally. Umishi finally. roll. Umishi. All right, All right where's this thing? Gonna, let's let this episode go a little long so we can finally get to the narwhal. We can run uh, away from these. Because we... We could run away, run away, run away. Oh, I have the scent. I could just put the scent on. We'll stop running into wild Thames. Run away, run away, run away now. Uh, Hold on, I'm gonna use the scent. Where's my scent so we can hurry up and get to the narwhal? Where's your skunk? Scent. There we go. Untamed encounters are reduced. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, no, I don't want to go back into the caves. What? Wait, okay. do you know where you're going? Uh, yeah, we gotta go this way, I think. Where? Uh, along this edge of the docks. We gotta go to the biatch. There we go. For child in my... Who's this guy? Why's he got a truck here? Hey! Did you see that? What the hell is this? He's a believer. Under the truck! I swear I saw something move under the truck! You... You drove the over sun? somebody? Uh... Yeah, what's under there? Top, he top, drove top. over somebody. There's something under there? What? Wait, there's something under here. We gotta find out what's here. How? There's nothing there here. There's something there! Find what? it! What? Nothing's happening. I think you gotta find the right spot on the truck. What? Something's gonna come out. What's See, going something's on? something's happening here. What? There's nothing here. Nothing's on. going on. He's just full of it. I guess so. He's a believer. Believer. Justin Bieber's under the truck. He's <laughs> like, hey, what up, y'all? Oh my god. We were, did you know Justin Bieber was oh, the worst? Man. Oh, we gotta go around this way. I guess I don't know where I'm going. Oh my <laughs> god. Uh, where's... How do I... Where is this? My scent. Oh, there's the scent. Use that shit. Oh no, we got an encounter. I was using the scent though. Who's this? Oh, more, more sushi. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, did you know Justin Bieber was the worst host of SNL? I think they rated him as the number one worst host. <laughs> All of the cast hated him. Because he's even, a prima donna, man. Yeah, worse than even, like, uh, what's his name? I was about to say Captain Phelps. Michael Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Michael Phelps, Fastbender. <laughs> <laughs> You're just combining names there. Michael Phelps himself is probably was a really nice guy to work with. He just was not a comedian. Right. Um, which, I mean, it kind of sucks Makes for sense. him to even got in that position. But anyway, Justin Bieber was like someone in the public eye, and he was just terrible on SNL. The cast hated them. He said that they would have like this huge entourage that was constantly with them. He was not like, you always want to make everything about himself. Uh, that's like, surprise, surprise. We made it! Oh, All okay. Right, finally. Cool. Oof. Let's go get to the narwhal, narwhal, going on the narwhal. Should I heal up in this Temtem -tem Center? Nah, we can just go to the narwhal. We're good. We're good. We're good. I would say we're mostly good. We're mostly good. Is this where the narwhal Okay, is? which way is where it? Where is the narwhal? Are we even in the right area? Uh, I don't know. Oh, we gotta go... Narwhal's up here. Oh my god. Is there a shortcut way to get up there? Oh yeah, we could take the shortcut. No, that's not a shortcut. It doesn't seem like a shortcut. <sighs> oh goodness. Oh my goodness. My goodness gracious. There needs to be a teleport function in Temtem, right? To take you all the way back. Yeah, just So guess go what? Through... Since we're further away than I thought, we'll do that in the next episode, guys. Okay, well, we'll we promise to get there. We gotta get to the narwhal <laughs> soon. At some point we in time, to be we'll good. be on the narwhal. You're still here? Well, you might as well subscribe. Okay, you can go now. <laughs>